Good afternoon again from the Hearts at War project. Uh, just bringing another quick video, looking again at some of the items that we have on display here. Um, this one again is probably fairly fairly recognisable um, as a French First World War kepi, which is um, the headdress worn by the uh, French army during the First World War. Um, as you can tell here, it's nice and bright and red. Um, this particular example, um, very nice of course, very well worn, is a territorial other ranks um, version. It's uh, in pretty pretty warm condition, but as you'd expect from a purely material um, headdress from a hundred years ago, it's uh, likely to be in that condition. Obviously, there's a, quite a few things to say about this. Um, particularly, the uh, the colour in it is quite interesting when you um, sort of look at the history of the French army, particularly during the First World War, and particularly the early years of the conflict. Um, as you can imagine, wearing a bright red hat on your head um, in the First World War was, was probably not the, the brightest idea. Um, and uh, believe it or not, the French army did go to war in a, in the first months of the war, wearing these uh, these red kepis as their standard everyday dress, along with some uh, very nice bright red trousers. Of course, the uh, the famous phrase uh, question was asked between a, a pair of generals in the French army during the First World War um, that we have to get rid of the red trousers. With the response being that the French army is red trousers. Um, nevertheless, not particularly practical. And uh, the British Horizon, uh, British supported Horizon Blue came in uh, in 1915, which is where we find the uh, the, the French army wearing a, a much lighter blue. Now, the the truth behind that, how that came about, is actually quite interesting in that um, this red that you see here was actually changed not because of uh, practicality or dangers to the troops but literally because the dye supplies for this kind of item were actually brought in from Germany and being at war with Germany they weren't feeling so hospitable and so uh, the um, the source of the dye was, uh, was then lost um, although the British did have lots of uh, spare blue and uh, so the uh, blue it was and the, uh, the French army changed to horizon blue as a result uh, but either way, a, a very interesting piece of kit. Um, I say very well worn, but a, a great example of the particularly what was happening in the early months of the war. These were, of course, uh, fitted quite quickly with a um, uh, with a camouflage cover, which uh, which took away the red. But um, either way, very interesting, and uh, links very well to another object, which is over here, which um, I think we'll probably discuss next time out. But uh, there we are. Hope you enjoyed it.